QNED 75 43 inch model for 2023. Check the description below for timestamps and so on. Top of the box, two feet, power lead or mains lead, remote control and instruction book pack, bit of poly in front of the screen, that is the TV from the front. The side, bit of a chunky one, and the back. Remote control and instruction book pack. A cable tie there for the back of the TV. Self tapping screws for the feet. AA batteries and two cable tidies. Mains power retention clip. Quick setup guide, instructions and some other gump. And the magic remote. Quick close up of the Magic Remote, power on and off, channel number buttons, guide, audio description or subtitles, volume up and down, channels up and down, mute button, that is the microphone button for voice commands, home button, input or source button, then we've got left, right, up, down cursor arrows and you've got a scroller wheel to scroll up and down or click in for enter, back button, settings cog hold the cog down and it'll take you to all settings colored buttons for different apps and media playback whatever they may refer to quick fire netflix prime disney plus rakuten lg channels and alexa and double a batteries into the back quick setup guide List of included contents. Unpacking the TV from the box, lay on a large flat surface, bigger than the screen, so there's no pressure on the screen. Peel any covers off the back of the TV. There isn't on this case. And there, attaching those feet to the TV and those cable guides. Onto the reverse, list of the inputs on the TV. Critical dimensions there for the TV key there and what they refer to and also visa mount dimensions there and some reference to one of the LG brackets. 200mm visa M6 bolts. Also we've got the feet for the TV they're marked A and B so they'll locate in the TV marked A and B. They're just simple bits of plastic with a brushed sort of metallic -y blue finish. That's it underneath and obviously you've got those through holes there for the screws to attach them to the TV. And figure eight mains lead, UK plug with a straight connection to the TV. Okay, TV is now laid on the large flat surface. I'm using the box and the bag that comes with it. We've got these clips here which will go above the feet to guide the cables down and down the back of the feet to keep it tidy. So they should just clip in. Ooh. Clip in there, a little bit of pressure. So we took a cable down there. And same on the other side, here as well. Also here, that mains retention clip to stop the lead being yanked out. Goes into there, so we can pop the mains lead in. Use that to keep it secure, push it down like that to release it. Clip on the other side there and you can pull it back out or clip it down again. Then guide the cable down past the cable management clip so it will keep the cable tidy going down the back of that leg. We're marked A there so with the corresponding foot also marked A if it shows up at all. It should slot into there and it's shaped so it'll only go in one way. And then we can just pop that self tapping screw in to secure it. Nice and solid. And the same for this side marked B. There we go. 
Okay, quickly looking at those inputs running down the side, we've got the CI card slot reader, USB in one, HDMI is one and two. Number two is enhanced audio return channel, so that will feed through your HDMI sound out of the TV back to your sound bar or sound system. It will also control that device. So turn the TV off, it will turn the sound bar or sound system off. Also do the volume on the TV, it will do the volume on the sound bar or sound system. Okay, terrestrial antenna or aerial in, or we've got satellite in for free sat or free to view sat. Looking at the connections directly into the back, we've got digital optical audio out or SP diff, HDMI free, so three HDMIs in total, another USB in, that's USB 2, and wired internet or LAN. Dimensions, 43 inch TV. Most critical one I think is the width of these feet. And remember, you can put a universal central pedestal stand on this. So if you haven't got room on your TV stand, you can have a central base. Have a look at the card above if it's there, maybe. But anyway, 80 centimeters at its widest point or 31 and a half inches. The depth of those feet, Hmm. Just under 22 centimeters or eight and a half inches. Width, 38 inches or 96 and a half centimeters. Height to the bottom of the TV, six centimeters or two and three eighths of an inch. And to the top of the TV, 62 centimeters or 24 and 3 eighths of an inch. Looking at it at the back, it's got a 200 by 200 square visa. From the bottom of the TV to the center of that first visa mount hole, I'd say about 21 and a half centimeters. Okay, there is no screen protector on this TV, just a bit of gump from the front, so. I've connected wired internet mains and aerial and also HDMI from my SkyQ box. Press the OK button, wheel, on your remote. Oh God. So we've got the voice guide in the background, it does it sometimes. OK. We'll soon turn that Language. off. Language, English, checked. Oh Jesus. Bosnian, check. Deutsch, Espanol, next, button. Country, United Kingdom, checked. United Kingdom, checked, next, button. Audio guidance is currently turned on to assist the visually impaired. Do you want Do you to keep, keep it turned on? Turned on? Certainly yes, no. not. Get our way with you, man. Right, how to set up the TV, two ways. You can use the LG FinQ app on your mobile phone. So whip through your mobile device, transfer your Wi-Fi and LG account details, or just step by step through the TV. I'm going step by step. At home, you may though choose to do that because you'll need that LG FinQ app at some point anyway, if you want to add further apps to the TV from their app store. Okay, T's and C's, if it lets me. And select all, more, agree. The way to watch TV, I'm going TV only because I don't have any other devices such as skyboxes or anything connected to it. Pop your postcode in for regional programming next so to optimize sound specify how you've got it either on the stand or wall mounted software automatic update install I'm having that turned on some people at home 
prefer not to have it turned on and pick and choose when they do them. And antenna for my program tuning. If obviously if your cable or satellite choose those methods. Digital only search. Smart retuning just replaces or removes missing channels and re-updates the map. But digital only search should replace the whole lot. Now pop back in five when this is done. Okay, tuning is now complete. It's onto region select, so that is where my aerial is facing, which for me is Yorkshire. Extra channels included with Freeview delivered over the internet. So IPTV channels mixed in with that, we shall say yes. And continue. So don't hit skip because it won't complete. So wait till it's done and it should say continue there. Should. Nah. There we go, done. Okay, so sign into your LG account so you can go to the App Store and get more stuff. Obviously I'm in store so skip for me but at home probably best to sign in. Okay, so we can add apps here to start with. So I'm going to pre-install Prime, close. That's how you can sign in as well. BBC iPlayer and YouTube. Obviously, I'll put now there as well. Alexa, not bothered about that. Turn on YouTube via Wi-Fi. Nope. Just so you can cast a video from your phone to YouTube, it'll turn the TV on and display it. It will use more energy though, because the TV is probably in a higher mode of standby waiting for that command. Okay. So we're on energy saving mode to start with. Before I do any settings, I'm going straight to retail mode, just so we can try out the retail demos. to all settings. And I do forget, is it under support? Yeah. So across to store mode, it's gonna get bright. Just turn my camera down a touch. Okay, back to home and to the media player.
let's uh, back to home mode. Exit. Good out. Okay, so back down to support and home mode, better. Also on the settings under system and ooh, additional settings. Right, go to the home settings. It's there for your power on screen. I like it to go to my last input. I don't like it to come onto the home screen where I've then got to select what I was on, whether it was Netflix or live TV. Personal choice, some people will like it to come on the home screen every time. Fair enough, leave that on, but for me, it's recent input. Okay, also that's where your software update setting is if you want to take it off automatic or check for updates. Onto general, external devices, HDMI settings. So I don't know why the default the CEC off because I always have it on in mine. Because you have it on, it will control your sound bar, pass the volume back or the sound feed to your sound bar turn the amplifier or soundbar off with your TV. Also turn your PlayStation on, it will turn the TV on or press the home button on your Sky remote or Virgin remote, BT remote, whatever. It will go to the correct channel on the TV or even turn the TV on. Okay, so I'll just press back again. Down to, so down to energy saving. It's a waste of time having the energy saving on because the little bit of energy it may save you, it sacrifices a lot of the picture to do that. And auto power off, that's your inactivity standby. So if you don't press a button for a few hours, it'll come up with a message, your TV is gonna turn off in so many seconds. So I'm gonna turn that off altogether. If you've got kids actually at home, mine's set to two hours. So if the kids have been in and they just decide to go off out and leave the TV running, it will sense nobody's watching it after two hours and turn off. But in store, definitely wants to be off so we can leave it running during the day. Okay, back out of there. So for the sound, if you're using a sound system on the advanced setting, DTV, you can set to Dolby Digital or Dolby Digital Plus if you've got the relevant equipment for it. And down at the bottom, eARC support if you have the relevant soundbar or sound system as well. That's your enhanced audio return channel. Also, digital sound output wants to be set to pass through if you're using a soundbar or sound system, AV receiver, whatever. That way you'll get your Dolby Digital. So if you're feeding Dolby Digital in from a Skybox, PlayStation, whatever, it will pass it through the TV out of that ARC port back to the AV receiver or soundbar. So that's set to pass through. Picture wise, let's have a look. I'm gonna set that to standard for the demo, okay. And back out of there. So I'm just gonna go onto normal TV and shut my mouth, have a look at the picture and hear the sound. Interest rates were kept at 5.25% today for the second month running, but the Governor of the Bank of England said despite rates being held, they weren't likely to come down soon. Here's our economics editor, Faisal Islam. Even though interest rates were held today, the economy, and especially the market for new build homes here in Mansfield and beyond, are feeling the full weight of 14 rises seen over the past two years. The net effect of uh, interest rates are absolutely going to slow things down. The the issue that we've got with construction okay, is... Okay, and most, just to show the same channel in standard def, because we're on HDA. So we've got a base... Interest rates higher let's go two, three, to make sure we get one. Inflation See the same the channel, down. hopefully, in standard def. There we go, so standard def. Bank's new forecast also suggested, while avoiding recession, 
There will be no growth from now until 2025, after the next election. That's quite stark. Yeah, but not that unusual, I'm afraid, in the current context. If you look at other countries, you're seeing... Back to HD. You know, similar pictures, frankly. One or two others. Dash at the moment. Are you concerned about geopolitical tensions, tensions in the Middle East, Israel, Gaza, leading to another kind of currently unexpected spike in energy prices, a repeat of the 1970s? It is a risk, clearly, that uh, any sort of wider, wider disturbance... Back to standard death. And we watch that very carefully. So, yes, we do see that as a risk going forwards, but, you know, let's look at the good news for a moment. It hasn't actually crystallised so far. A tough message on rates from the bank that sharp falls in inflation don't mean the same for interest rates. Faisal Islam, BBC News. The former head of NHS England, Lord Simon Stevens, COVID. has told the Back COVID to inquiry that death. during the pandemic, the former health secretary, Matt Hancock, thought he should decide who should live and who should die if the health service became overwhelmed. Fly on the Lord screen. Stevens said it was fortunate that what he described as that horrible dilemma never crystallised. Here's our health editor, Hugh Pym. I'm back to standard death public awareness of coronavirus. But OK, behind the scenes so at the just going to press the guide button, have a quick look at the TV guide. Scenario, there might be 840,000 deaths over four months. In the wake of that, Lord Stevens, then running NHS England... Now, you can see the orange line running down there to show the current time. Also tells us what channel we're on, highlighted in white there. So we can use the up and down buttons to scroll up and down. Or I can press the channel up button to go page by page. And it should load up with the programs, hopefully. There we go. Okay, so if I wanted great TV, great, and Return of the Saint later, press enter. And I can either schedule a recording if I've got a hard drive plugged into the USB port. It's only a single tuner on this, so you will either be recording what you're watching. Unless you're on HDMI, it will record the free view in the background. Also, you can have the TV on standby, it will record. Or you can go up and set a reminder there. So, pretty useful. I actually use that function at home sometimes. The odd times I use live TV or want to record a program, it does work all right. OK, return again. No, that's it for that. My God. OK, quick football demo coming up. Stadium in Singapore. They told him take on the Italian champions, Juventus. Spurs include the likes of Deli Ali, Jun Min Son, and Toby Alderweireld to their starting eleven. Juventus versus Tottenham Hotspur, a fixture many in this kind of area. Jun Min Son for Spurs, and Clark sneaking in. In terms of form from that moment on, it's an action. It's great ball, and he directed it to the court corner. And those two working again. Four on three here for Spurs. Son, well laid off, and Buffon makes a fine save. He's turned it in for Eric Lamella. Troy Parrott denied on the first attempt. But Lamella is there to beat Buffon. Spurs have been the better team, and on the half hour, they lead Juventus. The found to me on the edge of the penalty area. We play on. I believe it was. And uh, Pjanic. Equine, a well worked Kentucky Equine, pulls it, and he is a true finisher, and he's done it against Tottenham Hotspur before in the Juventus show. The man back from Chelsea has made it Juventus 1. Decilio up against Walker Peters. A good cut back, and it's deflected into the net, and Ronaldo has his goal, and Juventus have turned this around. They now lead by two goals to one, and there is the iconic celebration of Cristiano Ronaldo. 
Matches up to win the ball in the Juve half, and what a pass for Lucas Moura. He's assisted the equaliser. Spurs are back level against Juventus. Great work by Ndombele, and Lucas Moura has stabbed it into the net. What an immediate impact. Brilliant work again by Walker Peters. Boy, he's excellent in terms of his hold up play. I can see him being a, was an opportunity here. Kane, what a oh, goal! Yeah. Oh, what a goal to win it! Chesney's caught out! Harry Kane has scored the goal of this tournament! That is extraordinary! Tottenham Hotspur 3, Juventus 2. How did he come up with that? Very special indeed! That is it. Tom and Hotspur have won their first game of pre-season in the most extraordinary style. Okay, credit to Ubisoft for this one. It's Star Wars Outlaws. At least that's what I hear. The Empire? They're everywhere. But the world here belongs to the syndicates. If I want to survive, I have to play their game. Looks like I'm all in. She's in here somewhere. On second thought, I'm out. There she is. I've been held back my whole life. Coming 2024. Cool. Credit to Ubisoft again for that one. And exit YouTube. Quick look at the home screen before I leave. So go to apps. If you've signed in, you can go to your apps. Also there we've got the Freeview Plus guide or Freeview Play search settings notifications and that's your account settings there we've got live tv home office game music home hub sports or you can edit that card list and make it your own down there ip tv channels from lg there's not many of them there's far more on the samsung if i'm honest next to that now tv netflix iplayer itvx all four my five prime video disney plus sky store Apple TV, you can also mirror your iPhones or your Android phones to the TV. Rakuten, YouTube, BBC Sounds, apps. So again, sign into your app store, sports alerts, home hub, web browser, cheap Bluetooth wireless keyboard and mouse. You can browse basic internet services, media player, stick USB sticks on or NAS drive servers, things like that. You can play back media, whether it be photos or videos or music. You've got Alexa built in there as well. You can edit that app list to make it your own or move them about. Down there, what's trending now? Bluey, Doggy's favourite apparently. My dog's watched it for five minutes and quite enjoyed it. Some other stuff from other sources, whatever's trending. And then we've got that bar going across now streaming from the different sources including Prime Video, All4, Apple TV, ITVX, Disney+, Plus, YouTube, iPlayer and LG TV channels, My5, Rakuten and that's it. And then go down and some of the stuff from that provider there. So all in all, not a bad TV, not sure on the price but I don't think this one's going to be a fortune. It's actually better than some of the recent LCDs I've seen from LG. You can get a bit of the haze from the backlight but it's not aggressively blooming in any areas and the sound's not bad either. So 43 inch TV for a small room or a bedroom, not a bad buy. And that is all for now. Goodish.